So every now and then I'll have his Bloody Mary because it is really good, but it's typically more G's drink. So now we're gonna move on to my household favorite, the Vodka Gimlet, which is the type of cocktail that makes you wanna pull out your evening dress and your cigarette holder, so this is right up my alley. Again, you're gonna need your nice vodka, you need a little Rose's lime juice, you got your shaker, and our glassware. The most important part of the cocktail is the glassware. We typically serve it in a martini glass, um, but you can also do them in just a standard cocktail glass. It's uh, how much vodka you wanna actually consume at one time. By Sunday, she just has a pitcher and a Gatorade <laughs> bottle. Hammered. So now what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna take your martini glass, you're gonna take your vodka, and you're gonna pour three quarters of the way up. You're gonna wanna take your shaker, fill this bad boy up with some ice, get it nice, we want it nice and cold, okay? Then we're gonna take half a lime, put it in your lime squeezer, it doesn't, let the pits and the seeds get in there. Boom. Now, what we do is, we take out of glass and throw it right in there. Take your roses lime juice. You're gonna fill the martini glass up a quarter of the way. Now we're gonna throw that right in the shaker. Now the key to this drink is to make sure that it is extremely cold. So you need to shake until your hand goes a little numb. A little numb, shake it up. Don't be shy. You want ice chips floating on the top of this bad boy. And then the wife's getting the medicine. Ah, I mean, that's the best part is you make them, I drink them. Yeah, until we can't make them anymore because we're both too drunk to even stand. <laughs> Here it is. I mean, come on. Come perfect. on. Pretty perfect. Come on. Yeah. Huh? Then you take your lime, slice it a little bit, put it right on the rim of the glass, and a salute. Mi amor. It's beautiful. Not your shirt. So that's your traditional Bloody Mary and your lime gimlet. The best thing about these is they're really easy to make, so for people who are not used to making cocktails and don't really know how, it's very easy to follow and incredibly delicious. So let us know how you enjoyed these. The recipe is in the comments below and we'd love to know what you do on a Sunday. But don't get it too late in the day because I'm telling you, it was bomb, <laughs> gone. Cheers. Cheers. Salute Tom. to your house. God bless.